Hello, it's me Eli, aka Slim, uh, doing another video, Brandy Butters, from my graphic novel, Alien 101. Brandy's been a part of the story since book one. Um, she usually has, she actually has a very uh, important role. She's the one that man's in love with, the protagonist. She's been friends with man since early elementary school, so I guess they're childhood friends. But as the story goes, she moved away the summer before high school started. Now, now they're seniors in high school. Actually, Brandy's uh, graduated. She graduated early, so she's actually taking college classes. But it wasn't until the story started, the first couple chapters, that man realized that he's uh, in love with her. He was able to meet this new character, Marie, and Marie kind of opened his eyes to uh, the possibility. And then that's kind of how the story starts. Man's trying to figure out what love is to figure out the best way to go about loving his childhood friend. But he's at the same time worried that if he doesn't do things right, that it could totally ruin the relationship. So he's kind of just trying to do some research on what human love is. Uh, but Brandy's kind of the driving force to the story. She's this element that man's perpetually trying to move towards. And I guess the main reason he's getting himself into as much trouble as he is. Brandy herself is pretty mysterious. You kind of understand what man's doing and why he's trying to do what he's doing, but Brandy kind of just shows up at weird times and is kind of mysterious about what she knows. She seems to know that man's an alien. She also seems to have some type of mental connection to his alien abilities, but we're not really sure why. I know why, but you, you don't. Well, you might, you might know. But Brandy, uh, narratively, she represents a young love. Um, back when things are innocent, you just accept people for who they are, whatever they are. Um, but also a love in which the individuals don't really know themselves. Um, that's the trouble with young love is that you have the strong feelings, but none of the understanding or knowledge. Uh, the heart just wants what it wants. And as the story goes, Brandy kind of, I don't know, I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, but Brandy kind of uh, knows that. And I think it's I think it's obvious enough that Brandy's trying to move the relationship in a way that she feels is best. Uh, Brandy lives in the, the state above the state man lives in. So it's about a, a, a six hour drive away. But she still comes down to visit every so often just because her family, she still does have family uh, in the area. Uh, she likes reading and like going for jogs. Sadly, when the story starts, she's kind of in the middle of um, cramming for school. She's also working jobs to support herself. She currently lives with her uh, her older sister. Brandy has uh, a mom, dad, uh, a little sister, and an older sister. That all they're all pretty close. They're all about at the age where they're kind of starting to kind of do their own things, but they're still uh, very close. She has a strong support network and some strong family values. Uh, but as I said, she does have this ability to communicate with man over space, over time and space, like regardless of how close they are to each other, although it does intensify um, in close proximity. Uh, she described it as being able to feel his thoughts. She hasn't really explained to people that she has that ability with man, mostly because it's alien. I think she already understands how people would probably react to it. 
but she's definitely an interesting character and she's uh, kind of my way of you, you can kind of tell that she knows more than man does about the alien nature of like his existence his powers all these things and she's seems like she's just kind of waiting to waiting for man to get to a place where he can understand it for himself like he's kind of holding all of it and I mean even though there it is kind of uh, mysterious I have if you've read up to book three then I've already dropped several hints as to how the powers and the abilities work but I'm going to be dropping even more hints in book four. So that, that should be something to look forward to. If you're trying to figure out the mystery that is Brandy, um, every book I kind of drop a little bit more information. So it should be fun. Uh, but that, I mean, that's about it. Uh, like I said, I have Brandy here wearing a swimsuit. I have her with a surfboard although I never mentioned her surfing. Uh, as I said, she's, she tries to be as active as she can. She likes uh, uh, doing physical things. She spends a lot of time working on her, like, working, uh, doing her job as well as school. But when she's not, she likes being physical. She also smokes on occasion. So that's as some type of weird duality. Um, she doesn't usually smoke around man, but she does like an occasional cigarette. Um, she's trying to quit, but I think it's something to do with the stress. But yeah, that's a fun fact about Brandy. <laughs> or a not fun fact. Whatever, however you feel about smoking. Um, but yeah. As I said, this is um, art I'm doing for card game I'm working on, where Alien 101 is going to be um, one of the playable factions in this indie card game, and I'm just making these swimsuit outfit, these swimsuit pieces, so that I can create some alt art for that card game, so that uh, people that are big fans of Alien 101 will have some extra swag to show off. But uh, that's about it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe so I can uh, make more content like this. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.